What is up, guys? Shady Wags here with Gotcha Back Gaming. And when I first started playing Seven Days to Die, I absolutely got the crap knocked out of me. And it did not take me very long to learn. Always keep bandages on your hot bar. There were plenty of times when I'd take them off the hot bar when I was doing something else, thinking, uh, when I'm finished here, I'll just move them back. And then I would start doing something else, and I'd forget to put them back on that hot bar. Next thing you know, I've got a zombie hitting me. I'm running for my life, bleeding out, and then fumbling through my inventory for a bandage because I forgot to put them back on the hot bar. So a good piece of advice is to keep something to heal yourself on your hot bar at all times. Now bandages do not heal you though. All they do is stop the bleeding effect. The only way to heal without a healing agent is to slowly regenerate your health by keeping your food level over 50%. At some point, you may want to craft some first aid bandages because those do restore health. In order to craft first aid bandages, you're going to require cloth fragments and aloe cream. And to craft aloe cream, you need aloe vera plants. When I first started playing, I could not find these aloe vera plants anywhere for the life of me. I searched all over the place, up and down the map, and I just could not locate any. I talked to some people and searched the web. The only thing I could find is that they said they were in the desert. Well, I thought this over here where I was getting the yucca was the desert. I mean, there are cactus here. That is not the case. Evidently, this is considered to be wasteland. The desert on the NAS map is to the southeast, way over here. Before you decide to make this trip, you're going to need a cowboy hat and some sunglasses to wear. The desert biome gets extremely hot and you can overheat very quickly. When you wear these two items, they're going to lower your insulation and keep you cooler. Also, I would take plenty of water and some empty jars. When you get to the desert, the aloe vera is going to be all over the place. Just begin picking as many as you can. While you're picking the aloe vera, I would not stray too far from the edge of the desert. In case you begin to overheat, you can jump across that line, cool down, and then you can go back and you can pick some more. Another thing you can do to keep yourself cool is to collect yucca. And with those empty jars you brought along, craft those into bottles of yucca juice. Not only does yucca juice give you a cooling effect, but it is also going to provide you with a slight boost to your wellness. Once you've collected the aloe plants, head back to your base. You can then take all those aloe vera plants, craft them into aloe cream, and then into first aid bandages. The other item you can use to restore health is first aid kits. These do restore a more substantial amount of health, but they do take quite a few items to craft. And some of those items are not going to be things that are readily available to you at the beginning of the game. The first item you're going to need is the first aid schematic. Until you've located and read that schematic, you're not going to be able to make the first aid kits. The next thing you're going to need is blood bags. These can be looted or you can obtain them by using a blood draw kit. In my experience, the blood draw kit is probably one of the most difficult items to find in the game. Your best bet at finding one is at a pill store or a hospital, but you could get lucky and find one in a medicine cabinet or even just a cabinet. Once you have the blood draw kit, all you have to do is select it and it will take 25% of your health and convert that into a blood bag. Now we need some grain alcohol. This can also be looted, but you can also craft it at a campfire. 
In order to craft the grain alcohol, you need corn, and this is pretty easy to get. There are several farms spread throughout the map. All you have to do is hit the corn in the fields to pick it up. Just be aware that there are dogs around the farmhouses. The next thing you need is a beaker. This cannot be crafted. It is a loot only item. And again, probably your best bet is the pill store or the hospital, but I actually have had a lot of luck finding these at working stiff tool stores. And there is one real close to this farm here. Now that I have all those items, I'm going to take the corn and hit recipes and craft half of that into cornmeal. The other half I'm going to go ahead and craft into seeds. I'll place the beaker into the campfire and then craft the grain alcohol. The only other items required are a bandage and some duct tape. And if you do not have any duct tape, it can be crafted by combining glue and cloth fragments. Another thing I would carry on me at all times is some form of antibiotic in case you do get infected. Honey works to remove infection as well as antibiotics. And if you have secured a beaker, you can craft antibiotics at a campfire using moldy bread and nitrate. Crafting any of the medical items will raise your miscellaneous and science skills and the only benefit to that is it's going to allow you to craft the medical items faster. In order to gain more health from these items, you're going to need to raise your medicine skill. And an easy way to level this up is by bandaging yourself over and over. I do want to touch a little bit on farming. I have those corn seeds that I crafted, and if I don't want to keep running back to that cornfield to pick more corn, I can plant these and actually grow my own corn. In order to plant the seeds, first you need to till the ground, and to do that you need an iron garden hoe. These can either be looted or crafted using forged iron and wood. Equip the hoe and then select an area of ground and click on it to till the ground and prepare it for crops. Now that the ground is ready, equip the seeds and then click on each piece of tilled land to plant. I wanted to touch on the farming portion because it kind of relates back to the first aid. Because if you've watched any of our live stream videos, you may have seen there are some things we can do or items that we have that you do not have access to you, especially on the console versions of the game. And that's because we are playing on the PC version and we have a mod equipped called Valmod. Valmod is a modification to the game that adds a, I guess you would say, a higher degree of difficulty in some aspects. But it also adds some nice features that the game developers have yet to add. One of these things Valmod does expand upon is the farming system. And it does allow you to create seeds and plant both aloe vera and yucca, which you cannot do in the regular game right now. I do hope this is something that the developers do add soon, because until they do that, I feel like it's going to make it a little bit of a challenge for players to have a good supply of first aid bandages without having to make constant trips back and forth to the desert. So let's hope that's something that they do add here soon. Well, that's all I have for now, guys. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, I really would appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and until next time, later.